the person behind them. Like, I've seen a lot of radicalized content for adults on Facebook, especially like the misogynistic kind or something like that. You know, I hate my wife, haha, <laughs> that type of stuff. You know, that you might see that, that might make you angry or that make, might make you laugh. You might share that with your friends. It's going to affect your life in some way. Yeah, I mean, because the internet is changing so rapidly, I mean, there are like YouTube and Google and everything, they are working to put up regulations. I mean, I know on YouTube, there's a lot of uh, children's regulation around what kind of content is allowed for them and like what, what is being commented. Some comments are completely restricted on children's videos. So there's that. Finally, if you could go back to my days as bit of being a teenager, believe it or not, there was no mobile phone, smartphone, there was no internet. <laughs> Would you willingly go back to a world where there was no internet and no smartphone? Uh, I would trade it back, but, you know, maybe not permanently, but it would be nice to experience it. The education charity The Difference surveyed 8,000 children to find that one-third spend more time on social media than they do in lessons. That's more than five hours per day. We know this is a fast moving space for parents. Some schools are banning phones altogether. But the big question is these children leave the school today is what will the rules be the moment they get home? That's the view from the school gate. Uh, with thanks to the students and teachers. Please tell us your views. The educational charity I mentioned, The Difference, was the survey I quoted. They surveyed pupil well-being. Kieran Gill is its chief executive. She told us smartphones are part of a much wider picture. So The Difference provides training and support for school leaders to try and tackle students' well-being and safety before it escalates to those children falling out of school. On the 11th of January, we're bringing teachers together from across the country at the Include Ed conference to share best practice like you heard at Central Foundation School for children who might be facing online harm. And we need better regulation because teachers and parents can't do this on their own. So we're going to keep following this. We'd love your involvement. And, and uh, Kieran Gill has worked with Josh McAllister, the teacher turned Labour MP for Whitehaven and Workington. His private members 